What is a pop-up video? Well, to be fair, we're going to be making pop-up edu videos. Videos of in-school events that could use additional context for educators or other audiences to make deeper use of the footage. Here's one we made earlier. I'm ready. Okay, so, hi, I'm Morgan. Um, <laughs> this is my um, project slash like conference about me past, present, and future. You can provide context on things like learning goals or project work. You can even break the video into sections with pre and post questions for reflection or discussion. Do they remind you of anything? But the video is about education that exists in and for the nonprofit realm, so. Now, before we start, I've actually written a full text guide, step by step, for the fancy keynote animation section over here at blog.tarrantinstitute.org that will take you through the whole thing step by step. That also features a free download of starter files for you to make the fancy stuff without a lot of work. Hi, we are over here in Camtasia 2018 and we're going to look at how to do a quick pop-up. So over here I've loaded a quick clip from the student night conference that we looked at earlier. And I'm going to drag that down into my timeline, track one. There it is. Um, and now we're going to go over to the left hand menu and we're going to choose annotations. Okay, and these should look pretty uh, familiar to you if you are have watched our pop-up video sample, um, so you can get a good idea of what's going to happen. Now, there's a moment about six seconds into the clip that uh, it would be helpful to note the students talking about a student-led conference. It was just great to see like two really big pieces of my life, school and home, just come together and just... So we know that it's six seconds in because we can see right here on the, the timeline that gives us the time and the playhead has moved to the place we want to add the annotation. So I'm just gonna choose one of the annotations from the options. I like the plain white box. So I'm gonna drag that down to track two on my timeline. And you can see that it is automatically added to the media that's shown on screen. Now, it's a pretty big, pretty plain white box. And it's also covering the student's mom's face, which is not great. So you can just click onto the box and pick it up and move it. Uh, you want it to be unobtrusive, but also legible. Uh, when you click inside, you can double click on that text. It gives you a blinking cursor, should look familiar. And we're just going to put um, student-led conference. So the annotations are really for questions your viewer might have while they're watching a video, um, questions they might not even know they had until you wanted to leap in and provide some context. Another thing to think about is that as I was typing, the text got smaller. It adjusted to the size of the box. I like that the box is uh, situated between the two folks on my screen, but I want to make it a little bit smaller and you can see the text adjusts. Again, want it to be unobtrusive, but legible. Uh, a lot of folks are watching this on their phones. A lot of folks will be watching the media you create on their phones. So again, having nice legible text. And of course, you're going to have captions available for those who want them. So down here on the timeline, you can see there's an orange box. That is the annotation itself. You can see the playhead has its start at six seconds. So let's go ahead and replay our media, see what it looks like. It was like. just great to see like two really big pieces of my life, school and home, just come together and just... It felt really great that both sides were celebrating me and I kind of felt humbled. And so uh, I think that we could actually move this a little bit earlier in the clip. And also when you look down at the timeline, you can see that the annotation lasts for five seconds. That's an awful long time for three words to be on screen. So we can go ahead and just make that little adjustment. Grab the, if you hover actually over the right hand edge of the orange call out box, you'll get a, a directional arrow. You just want to scooch that to the left and it shortens the amount of time the annotation will be on screen. Get a larger, longer annotation. You could drag that directional arrow to the right and make it longer. We'll make it a little bit shorter. Uh, let's play that back. Just grab the playhead, move it to the start, see how it, it looks. It was just great to see like two really big pieces of my life, school and home, just come together and just, it felt really great that both sides were celebrating me and I kind of felt humbled and... That looks kind of fantastic for what I want to do with this clip. 
So from there, you just want to go ahead and save your project, always save your project, and then go ahead and export it either, you know, if you're finished directly to YouTube, or you can export it to a file. You'll notice that the, uh, the annotation itself is fairly plain. It's uh, just text in a box. Even you get all these different kind of options, the thought bubble, the arrow. Um, but now we're going to look at how to make it gussy it up, how to make it a little bit uh, more exciting with some images and things like that. We're going to do that with Keynote. Now, earlier in the video, you saw Morgan share her resume and a pop-up came up to let us know that's what was happening. We're over in Keynote 9, and this is the actual file I used to create the pop-up that Morgan used to share her resume. Now, I'm going to draw your attention to two things. One is this green springy background, which we employ because we're going to be using iMovie's green screen function to bring the pop-up into the timeline. If you're working in Final Cut Pro, that would be the chroma key function. The second thing is this collection of graphics over here, which is actually the pop-up itself. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. Starting with a new slide, brand new slide right out of the box. Don't need any of this text. We're just going to delete the, all these, get rid of them. And then we're going to go over to format and choose a background color. We choose spring, the spring crayon from the toolbox because we know that it works with both Final Cut Pro and iMovie's timelines. Over here in document, we're going to change the slide size to a custom slide size. The custom slide size is 1350 by 750. This will let us drop the uh, pop-up directly onto the timeline and have it fit almost perfectly. So your big tool here is going to be the shape function in Keynote. Keynote allows you to bring in basic shapes like circles, squares, rectangles, but it also has a fairly extensive clip art collection, all of which is copyright free for you to use in any of these uh, productions. So we're going to grab a clipboard right off the bat. I'm going to start bringing in um, some basic shapes to build our pop-up. We go ahead and get a nice big rectangle, want a space where people can actually be able to read text that's legible. Remember, people are watching on their phones. You're probably watching your phone. Hello. Uh, so we're going to create a white background, black text and a white background. Never go wrong. Uh, and give it a border here. I'm going to go with a, a gray border. And then uh, we want to get a little bit fancy, so we're going to add a circle. And then we're going to be able to put our clip art inside that circle. And maybe you want different themes of clip art, depending on what the pop-up is about. If you hold down the shift key, your circle will not get bent out of shape. Let's go ahead and reverse the colors here. Let's use dark gray for the circle. And then a border with uh, white. Make something different. And then just drop the clipboard onto the circle. Uh-oh, it's going behind. What do we do? So Keynote allows you to choose things in layers. It allows you to um, treat things as existing on different layers. You just bring to front. You can slide that right in. Bonk. Whoop. And then just kind of shoogle your clipboard around until it makes sense. Add some text. Uh, Megan is showing her resume. I had to look that word up because I did not believe that it needed this many diacritics. It does. I'm going to make that text a little bit bigger uh, and then drag it over to the rest of our pile and make it sit nicely in the middle here. So you're pretty much done. The last step that you want to do is you want to make this pop up available for your movie editing software. Do this by going to File, Export, and export it as a movie. Don't need to worry about all of this, except for working with one particular slide. We're just going to export that one slide. Don't need to worry about the um, relation of the slide to other slides, because we're just using the one. I like a good high resolution. We're just going to go ahead and export that, and then jump back over to iMovie to see how it works out. So I'm over here in iMovie 10. I have loaded the clip of Megan talking about her resume into my timeline and you can see I've already imported the piece we just created in Keynote. I'm going to drag that over to the timeline and I'm going to put it on top of the existing footage. Now if you were to leave it like this because it is so green, what would happen is the green would take over the existing video. 
like so. So instead, with this piece highlighted, we're gonna go up here and change from cutaway to green blue screen. And now you can see that it just pops nicely into the timeline. I will finish this off with a little jaunty pop noise. I got mine from freesound.org, which is a an open source community for audio enthusiasts. You can kind of shugle that around to make it work with the pop. There you go. And it just exists now as part of the footage. It was just great to see like two really big pieces of my life, school and home, just come together and just it felt really great that both sides were celebrating but me. It was called a resume. I'm sure you've heard of it because you've had to read a bunch, but. And write some. And write one. And we write all some. have. <laughs>